Kirk, thank you. A local neighborhood on alert this morning after at least three people were held up at gunpoint Tuesday night during a robbery attempt. Deputies are still searching for the suspects. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos live in West Hollywood with the details for us. Annie Rose, good morning. Frank, good morning to you. We wanted to come to the alleyway here behind the restaurant La Boheme just off of Santa Monica Boulevard because we understand this is where the majority of the incident took place. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department telling us that that call came in on Tuesday night at around 930 p.m. But I want to go straight to some video. This is exclusive video obtained by WeHoville that shows this brazen incident where you can see three people walking in the alleyway away from the restaurant and toward the side side street when a group approaches them, one of them carrying what appears to be an automatic rifle pointed at the three victims. In the video, it appears the victims were able to push the suspects away. Now back out here live, I want to bring in Larry Block. You are the co-owner of the website WeHoville. Talk about your reactions to this video. It shows a brazen attack with a weapon you don't see every day here on the streets of West Hollywood. Well, it was scary to see, but it's not unusual anymore. Um, we've had a few active shootings um, at the bars at the, last week at the Domain, and the city had an active shooter training a course a few weeks ago. You know, Larry, you have lived here for decades. You have spoken to this local sheriff's department here. What are they telling you? Well, I spoke to Captain Mulder yesterday, and he was talking about the new budget where he's going to ask to have the sheriff deputies restored that were cut during the defund movement. We're down to 58 sheriffs in this city uh, from more than 70 pre-COVID, and business in the bars are very crowded, new businesses have opened, and, and it's become a little bit of more dangerous to feel comfortable. Uh, for my, my businesses, my um, employees, I've had to put active shooter training into our schedules wow. that we send out on the weekends, reminders about what to do in a situation like this. And Just in case like your employees might see someone armed in your business. Well, I think the employees here I know are a little bit scared, and the employees throughout the city who have experienced this are, are just scared. Any Anything from the city leaders? Is there a plan in place? We're, we're almost to Pride Month. Are they prepared with these incidents happening? Uh, the city has no plan in place. Uh, the, Captain Mulder is looking to have his sheriff deputies restored. Uh, we did have an active shooter on the way to Pride a few weeks ago, a few years ago. Yeah. And um, this year, our Pride is um, is more than $6 million we're spending. to, uh, And over a million dollars of that is public safety initiatives. Um, and it's going to be the biggest Pride ever where we close the street for three days. So uh, I'm sure that this incident and other incidences are going to redouble our efforts to make sure that it is going to be a fully safe Pride. Thank you so much, Larry. The Sheriff's Department telling us they are investigating this situation, but as of right now, no information on any of those suspects. Reporting live, I'll send it back to you both in the studio.